So in today's video we are not going to talk about some knockoff systems from China. No, we're going to talk about the real deal from back of the, the 90s, the Atari Lynx. I just wanted to show you this portable system in this video. So I hope you really like this idea and uh, I must say I never, never had this one as a child. So I personally had the Game Boy and the Game Gear. Let me know what, you, what is your favorite system and uh, what kind of system did you have. Uh, today's video we're just going to look at this big bulky thing. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a gameplay. So let's go. And the first thing we're going to take a closer look at is this flimsy bag or protection bag for your Atari Lynx. I'm very curious. Do you need to buy this separately back in the 90s? Please let me know. I'm very curious because a lot of things you need to buy separately back in the 90s. I'm not talking about the games, I'm talking about everything. So the manuals that came with the games, all the same like the, back in the 90s, come with a colored or black and white. Nevertheless, the manual would explain what is the game all about. So take, let's take a close look at the Crystal Mines number 2. I just have this game, so... Crystal Mines 2, little story, so you know what the game is all about, getting started. So, yeah, alright. Nowadays we're still missing manuals. I don't know what you think of this, please let me know. I think it's a really bummer. And yeah, nobody reads the manuals most of the time, but still, it's a little piece of nostalgia back in the gaming era, when it all started. Putting, the creators putting some extra effort of explaining the game and what it's all about. The games. <laughs> I bought this one for 4 euro, but look at it. How it looks is really awesome. Shadow of the Beast. Ah, I still got one game. It's time for some Spang Man Returns. So we're going to try out all of these games, um, and this is what I really think, it's awesome. It's a game from the future, oh wait, no, it's from the 90s. Alright, let's take a close look at the Game Boy games back at the time, and the Atari Link game. So I think it's a pretty damn little bit of awesome engineering. If you look at this bulky Game Boy card and this slick slim Atari Lynx card, so if you look at the game system itself and the games, very nice, very awesome. The Atari Lynx was released in 1989. Atari Lynx also has a backlight screen with colors. So if you look at the games, there were some awesome games that were ported from the arcades. The only problem was it didn't give the Atari Lynx a big success. Very simple because they didn't get many developers to create games for the Atari Lynx. But yeah, the games was not only the problem that the Atari Lynx had. It's very simple. The competition was big and heavy. Because if you look at the price only, $199 for Atari Lynx and $109 for the Game Boy. But nevertheless, let's play some games.
So for the final conclusion, I really think this is an awesome collectible, the Atari Lynx model number two. Let me know what is your first portable system. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. I also did a review about the Sega Nomad with LCD mod. Check it out and see you next time.